What's going on guys, it is your boy Cash, and we are here today because this lovely list that I'm spinning around, Natural Bloodcraft. I find it it's you know always good to go with Natural Bloodcraft if you want to see how weird the meta is and or if you can tank out stuff. I really like it. I'm going to show you two guys two games that I thought were extremely funny and then I'll show you guys a live match. But uh, some people don't know what to do against this card. Norea, Norea brings out the fool in people. All right, first match that I'm gonna show is this lovely match against Forrest. Now, what's funny about Forrest is that I really wanted to see how good it will do. Uh, the Flood Behemoth is like a very annoying thing to have to get around. So, the only thing that's kind of worrisome is against Machina, Forrest, you have, I'm like, dang, do I really wanna lower my HP? It uh, allows me to heal a lot. So the most that he could probably do is, what is that? It's three and three, I think, in a turn, because it's, it's, it turns everything to three, right? So six damage he can do in a turn, plus whatever he has on the board. Now, the only thing you can hope for is that whatever he has on the board is, you know, like, just put on the board so he can't attack with it, and then I can clear it the next turn. So that's what, you know, I'm hoping for, but, you know, it ain't gonna always go down like that. This card I need to take out. It's a decent card, I wanted to test it out, but it just, I feel like there's, it's taking up a slot in which something else way better can can be. Cause there, if there's nothing on the field and it has to be a follower, which I find annoying, I wish it can copy like the tree, great tree, you know, if you're doing Natura. But he goes on a wide board, which kind of pisses me off. But I know that I have a Azazel, so I really don't care too much about my opening HP. I, I'm pretty much fine sacking it. My only issue is that I'm gonna activate it next turn, but it's gonna be I'm losing five health, you know. But I have a uh, Yuris, Yurius? How do you say his name again? A uh, Yurius in my hand, you know. So I'm not exactly too concerned about, you know, because um, I get a free Evo. That's a free Evo. And the really cool thing in here, hopefully I can show you guys. I don't remember if it's in the other match, but Cradle automatically activates Norea every time. <laughs> That's 100% guaranteed. So we go down to five HP, and I'm like, ugh. So technically, if I didn't do the other place, in some sense, I would have 10 right now. But so I activate her. I have to blow an Evo on it because I didn't add another card to my hand. Look at that sweep, though. Delicious. It's so good. It's so good. And this is where he messes up. It's so funny. It's just too funny. So he plays the Ironback Beetle. Plays this. He attacks with. He, he Evo's this, which is really funny. So I'm like, oh, is he gonna attack with this first and then lower it? No, he attacks with that and it sweeps. <laughs> This thing has Clash, deal one and damage to enemies, so you have to really pick and be particular of how you're gonna, you know, go about your turn. And he did not do that, so now we heal up. Now what's cool about this is that Strike, so it has nothing to do with Clashing, so I cleared the whole thing out. I'm actually feeling pretty comfortable, he even, I saw that he put a Damien inside, so I was like, okay, so one Damien gone. Kills my thing because this thing is busted. Does that. Machin, Machin is, I feel, is so much better than the heal for Natra. And of course, based Natra, how do you say the stupid thing's name? Natra Almachinus. So dumb. It's such a dumb card. Oh man, it's so strong. It's just too strong. I thought about going with the Nightmare Prowl, but then this thing would have been left up. And I was like, ah, I don't think that's the right play. I could have played this for six and then played uh, the change wing, but I think if I remember correctly, I didn't have enough to heal. I need three, so I have one, two, and I think three. I could have healed. But I went with this play because it lets me heal up a little bit if he starts playing a bunch of stuff, which I knew he was going to do. This card, stupid. He's out of Evos, but unfortunately, I do lose. If I would have left only the mocking up and healed with this, cleared all two, and then healed with this, I think that's a... I forgot how much that heals. I think it only heals two. Now, this match is against Portal. Now, Artifact Portal right now is just do. It's in a really phenomenal position. It's really... Uh, it has a lot of answers. It's, it's one of the more, I feel like... It's not like Tier 0. It's definitely not Tier 0, but it's definitely like Tier 1 or 2 or something like that. I don't know about 2. I, I feel like saying Solid Tier 1. Because it just has so many answers there's so many ways to get everything as long as you draw uh, absolute modesty i feel like you have a legitimate chance of winning any match because you'll always be able to clear the board i feel like there's no turn after like turn five or six 
that portal artifact is not clearing the board. It's just not gonna happen. I find that card weird in the deck though. I don't know. I, I guess maybe you have that for natural Alkamaka Alolola. Um, so yeah. So what we do here is just draw and draw and draw and draw. And that's kind of the power of this deck. The only problem with uh, this deck is that it doesn't have a finisher. I kind of need to work in a finisher somehow because I actually lost one match with this deck because I decked out the cradle here actually kept making me draw too many cards and I decked out. So he's doing his best. He's doing his, his absolute best here and I commend him for that, you know? We're just drawing. I'm trying to find my cards. I think I actually go with the evil here. I do. We lose six. Yeah, it always feels bad, but against a controlly deck, I'm not too scared to do it. Yes, he has absolute modesty, but even if he gets pumped up, it's not going to do too much. And same thing with that that nine drop. It's not going to do like crazy amounts. Not really having to worry about it. So another cool thing is that on turn six, if you have a natural tree out and you get um the what is that card? I was just playing the creeping madness. You can activate Naria through that too. So she has a lot of ways to kind of activate herself in Natura. I feel like Self Ping probably has a little bit better ways. I I I don't have all the cards for Self Ping, so I can't make it right now. Uh, but I know once I get Cradle activated, which is my goal for next turn, is to play Cradle. That Naria is activated. Let me. Uh, I think. I, I think I did that because they were taking too long. This is obviously a replay, but they were taking so long, and that's my favorite thing. Because it's it's so BM. <laughs> I know it. Right now, he's trying to get something strong enough to trade with this. Like, I like to do it just because it's so BM. It's, it's like, if they take too long, let me crush the numbers for you, because you're taking too long. So here we go. Cradle of Dark Divinity. Which, like I said, every turn, now my Noria is going to be activated, as long as it doesn't get taken by that stupid effect. And he actually goes with the Belfamit. Like, I don't know what this... This is a really weird deck, because it's not all artifact, because you don't run this in artifact, right? So, here we go. The fun, the fun begins. So, I played Noria, right? Or Neriera, I don't know what her name is. Boom, Auto Evo. Phoebe Madness just to, for extra draw. I wanted to see what else I can put out there. This is a heal. Don't really care too much about it. Uh, Evo it. Because I want to be able to trade with everything pretty much. See, now he can't attack with this. This is weird. This was so funny. He can't attack with that. I was like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, brother, what are you doing? That's not gonna kill. And then he freaks the ancient artifact. Technomancer to then make another one. What are you doing? Let me let me crush the numbers before you play it. Oh no. I, I'm thinking like um absolute modesty, I think it's accelerate is the like it does like that weird effect or something like that. Like you can uh it does one damage, it does X damage based on how many have destroyed. I thought that's what he was doing. But uh yeah, he pretty much lost here. <laughs> Alright, paradigm shift. This was interesting. And now he brought these things out that allow him to heal. So for one, he's healing three back. So I thought this was a very interesting uh line of play here. And uh, Uraeus is letting him know that he has learned true misery. And it's turn 10, so I can pretty much do that and win the game. But he <laughs> misplayed the Flood Behemoth so terribly. It's so funny. All right, let's go into a, a live match and see what we can do. Because I feel like uh, Machina Blood has already been like, you know, you've seen it everywhere. I still have to make it because I, I, I really want to play it. You know, sometimes the deck, no matter how meta it is, you still want to play it. You still want to enjoy it. Like, oh, I really like that type of play. It, yes, it's meta, I know, but, you know, it's like Evil Sword. I was like, it's meta as hell, but it's just so fun just evolving and evolving and evolving and evolving. And uh, did I mention evolving? She actually looks kind of cute. Hey, shut the fuck up. All right, um, we're going second, so I'm just going to throw everything. 
I want, yes, give me Nerea. Now, this hand is terrible. Uh, really fat-ass hand, but I'm happy we have Nerea. It's not really going to do too much against what he might be bringing. He's not bringing Mach, and he's bringing uh, Brain Dead, Discard, Natra, you know, because I'm in ranked, so, you know, I respect it. If this man has Mach in a, what is this guy's name? Uh, letters. All right. So if letters brought <laughs> Machina, I will. You will have my respect, which means absolutely nothing. Didn't I say I was gonna take you out? Didn't I say that? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, he's a two cost two two. On turn nine, you can actually <laughs> make another cradle, which is kind of funny. Uh, but the problem is that I feel like there's not enough natural. Like if I had some of the other natural cards in this deck, I think it would be fine. Like the werewolf. I really want the werewolf back in here. He's a three cost like insta kill pretty much and usually what i do is that if i have the bat i keep copying the bat over and over again i like to do that but he just doesn't seem like he's too strong like maybe if there were a little bit more if i ran more natural cards yes he can also copy the natural makadaka makadaka just you can copy that too oh that's fun hi sir how would you like your l oh as early as possible <laughs> Wouldn't want to delay the L or anything like that. Uh, this gives me a free. I don't care. It feels terrible. I have, maybe I shouldn't have it. I should have did something else. It does feel terrible to lose 10 HP, and he's about to like swarm me with bullshit. Uh, whatever. Whatever. I also thought about crashing those two and having a five-five on the bit for uh, that make it a little bit harder for him to trade into it. I feel like I just want to be a little bit more aggressive. Your eyes uh, next turn will be able to trade with uh, something. Uh, we do have heals, so I'm hoping that he just has a good hand, but not that good of a hand. He doesn't have. Uh, yeah, he's just ramping up right now. So we lost ten, but that's the thing. Sometimes it's good to just play it and just get it over with. But the way that his thing does, it's not a big hit. It's it's individual little steps. So. I can't suppress this craving. I should use this instead. Um, either way, I could play both. So I can use Narea next turn, no matter what. Okay, that's you. And that's gonna help out a lot because they both have really big stat lines. True misery is being learned right right now. <laughs> it's being learned right now as we speak. So uh, we can use Nerea next turn, which is really good. Oh <laughs> lord. The I don't. I I'm misery. sure. No one, no one's trying to escape your shadow, brother. I do struggle to which is crazy is that Nerea actually clears him, and I'll still have it up. The fury of my curse. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> What was I thinking, right? <laughs> Does she have to? Yeah, I have to trade that into it. Oh my god, I hate that card. That card is so stupid. Uh, there's no safe way to do it. Uh, no, nothing I could think of. I pretty much uh, assume that I have to lose my um, my beast. Right? If I were to evolve and clash into that, then I keep it. And I keep this thing up. By attack, yeah, I I, I want to keep him up. Really it's a little pesky. I would like to keep this thing up, but God, that's so annoying that he was able to play all that. I mean, he's had a pretty good ramp, so he, you know he's already at ten pretty early. So the world is his oyster right now. And he even had more ramp. Like he's just like, oh, check this out, bro. <laughs> He hasn't discarded anything though, so he's he's doing the Natra discard, so he's drawing more as Natra, and he just has the ship Spain as a means to. It's in the deck, so when he draws it, it's just extra chip damage, which is fine, I guess. Which luckily for us is that his actual like Valdane, it is like he if he calculates it right, it's a three damage, so he can mitigate and do a bunch of nonsense and then oh he knows he's gonna do three damage at the end of his turn because it's already past three right so him doing any extra it's irrelevant it's just always gonna do three so luckily for us you know that it's whatever that thing's gonna automatically die and now we got some pretty big 
big bodies on the field. So I'm happy about that. Goodbye. So three, he needs to do five damage, which he needs two instances of like three to two, three and a two. So still possible though. That's not working. So shit's damage. He can't Evo it. Oh no, he can because it, it's ten. Yeah, yeah. He has five clip, ten clones. So that's three. No, two damage. He needs to do a three. Okay. Um. Does he have it? No, don't. You need to discard something. I know it's hard. <laughs> I know it's hard to figure out what to do. He just needs to discard like one thing. Um. Then it'll do two damage to me, right? And then I have four, and then he'll get three. So, no, I guess not. Okay, we're safe unless he uh, 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 he just can't scale bound. If he scale bounds, it's we're kind of screwed. But uh, scale bound. Damn it! Damn it, man! Um. See, look, and now this card, I need Natura's in my hand. This is a Natura, this is a Natura, this is a Natura. So it's it's kind of, uh, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. Now I have to heal because that's, that that is the thing. I have to heal. I feel like putting up wards too, but I can't do both at the same time, unfortunately. Maybe if I do Unleash the Nightmare, then I'll be able to heal and then trade into that. It's kind of seeming like the thing. Oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, you know what? For three, it would have been smarter to just use that. Wow, that was actually a huge misplay. This would have been way, 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 way smarter to do because it would have given me two specific natural cards. I would have activated that and then I would have been able to heal. I would have been at five, which would have had made him do a little bit more work. Instead, I give him the free, the free dub skis. Happens to the best of us. So, <laughs> it's actually kind of fitting. So I showed two matches of my opponents making misplays. Though, the Forest still won because it's Forest. I beat the other guy. Is he just going to end? I respect it. He <laughs> crunched the numbers. So he did have a Storm in hand. Which is why I kind of wanted to play the, the thing. But I was dead in so many different fronts. So it looks like it didn't matter what I did. I would have still lost, but still a huge misplay. You you play the the thing that gives you the natural cards. You heal for two. Um, depending on what natural cards you get, then you know it kind of changes. Maybe maybe there was if you know I don't know how I can't remember how many creepy madnesses I played, but there was definitely a better line of play there. And playing the most optimal, even if the turn doesn't matter, is still important. You have to still play your best hand, and I didn't play my best hand there, so. I lost, I could have, I was probably still going to lose, but you still have to make sure that you lost utilizing all your options, so there's that. Either way, uh, I definitely think I want three of these. I, I want to craft one more. I'm hoping to get one in a pack, but that hasn't really happened. We definitely want to take out this, <laughs> these three cards. They just don't have too much value. You guys see that the deck still works pretty good. It fights against some of the decks that you see a lot. I feel like it does okay against Dragon. It's just when Dragon does get the shit's being activated and all that, you have to really, really have enough heal. And I think that that's probably what I would tech into the deck. Some more Helia-esque cards. I think that's why Self-Ping might be a little bit better. Because Self-Ping pretty much, you don't restrict your health with Azel, right? So you take Azel out. And then you, some sometimes with self-ping, you literally go back to 20. <laughs> you just go right back to 20. You can have natural cards, you can have some Machina with the alpha alpha core, and then you still run the, the natural uh, L, L brokenness. And uh, yeah, you still get shit done. So maybe I'll try self-ping next time. I have a couple other decks I was trying out, but yeah. I, I thought I wanted to show this one because I feel like no one's talking about some of the natural decks that are out there. It's, a lot of it's Machina, Machina, Machina. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, all right? And just remember that every day in the casino is your lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.